We're doomed. But just in case, go change your light bulbs. Yeah, I know that's really inspiring. And you probably just want to ignore it and hope it goes away, but climate change is really here. My name is Susan Meredith, and I'm going to get, want to get three things across to you today. That there is an urgency around climate change. That when we work together, we can fix it. And it isn't gloom and doom. As a matter of fact, what we need right now is to be positive and focus on the positive future that we want to create together. So let's look at the urgency first. This graph shows the global temperatures, it, each cycle is one year, since 1850, and it goes through March 2016. And the 1.5 the degrees Celsius is the point that we, we do not want to hit. Now you know what the hottest year on record so far is? Is 2016. After that it's 2015 and 2014. So it's like we have a fever on this planet. That's not a good thing. So we, we also probably already know that the EPA isn't going to do anything about it. So we need to all do something about it. What this means, this kind of temperature change means, is the polar ice caps are melting, which is causing flooding around coastal areas. The volatility of the weather is affecting our crops, so our food supplies. There's also oceans are uh, acidifying, which means that the uh, food from the oceans is also affected. And of course, we're dealing with very volatile weather. So we need to do something. And there's actually a time frame, deadline 2020. We have to make dramatic changes by the end of 2020. And there's a report you can search on Google, just say deadline 2020 report from the C40 summit. So what that means is if we're here, you know, in, in our emissions, we need to get here. So what is the way we're going to do that? We can't just kind of wait and hope it changes, but what actions, measurable results can we take to change that? And that is what um, eco campaigns are about because we are not a healthy planet right now. The analogy, analogy I'd give you is, you know, if you were to say, hey, you know, my circulation is great, you know, and my digestion is great, but you can't breathe, this is what New Delhi, India looks like. 1.1 million people dying of pollution. And they actually, there's a technology to vacuum the air and make bricks out of it. That's how dense the particles are. So 4.5 million died in 2015 from air pollution. We are not a healthy planet. We are also connected. This is a map that designed by a man named Buckminster Fuller. He is a very brilliant man that was also credited with how space fits together, called Fullerenes, or Buckyballs for short. And this map shows the land mass in a different way. This is the U.S. over here. This is Alaska, and here's Russia. And so it shows how we're all connected. So what's happening in one part of the world, we're all on planet Earth together. We have to fix it together. The other thing I want to say is we are not doomed. We can change the trajectory step by step if we work together. And that's what eco campaigns are about. Eco campaigns are taking actions as a group and celebrating them over time. And we're starting with a, a, something called the Light It Right campaign, which is about lighting. Now, I know you think, well, light bulbs, that doesn't make much difference. And if I change my light bulbs, well, big deal. But it does make a difference. So. We're on this, uh, this first campaign with just five high schools, we're targeting 62,500 light bulbs to be changed. That's the same as 145 households, their electric bill all year round. And it's not just a good idea, it's also that it is a financially good thing to do. So there is a, there is a um, condominium, 430 condos in this building that changed all their bulbs to LEDs. And their payback was in less than a year. It was actually 11 months. So it's just financially smart to change out your light bulbs as well. So this campaign is about changing, trading in uh, incandescent bulbs for LEDs. And there's a competition. And then there's going to be a celebration. And we're going to really look at what we did together. And that's the way we want to do this, not gloom and doom. So your contribution will help us fund this campaign with the products and the promotion and the staffing and the analysis that we need to do, that's what I'm asking you to contribute to. But we're not going to stop there. This is, this is, you know, we want every one of you to get involved. 
And this is an energy efficiency private eye. We want every one of you to be energy efficient pro private eyes. And LEARN will provide education to help you learn. And not just with lighting, but in, we'll have additional eco campaigns on mobility, on recycling, water, vampire power, building temperatures, etc. And go to more and more uh, different organizations and cities. If you have a city that you want to start eco campaigns in, please let us know. So I say that because I want you to know that we're, we're asking for donations for this first Light It Right campaign, but the more money we get, the more campaigns we do, the more impact we can have on creating a healthier planet. And not only that, we will eventually need to have, uh, we're planning to have a place that, you know, will, it, it, you know basically nonprofit um, donations will go to there. So um, ultimately we'll be doing that as well. So keep involved and don't keep those donations coming. So we're asking you to get involved as well as to get educated. So now let me explain a little bit about my background and how I gained my expertise in the area of energy efficiency and energy management. I actually started when I was an engineering student at the University of Illinois and we had an engineering project freshman year and I did mine on the, the post office in Rolling Meadows used electric cars to deliver the mail all that time ago. And I got somewhat involved in the environment but then it was when I had an MBA program in 2006 from the University of Texas and we had a project called the capstone project which was a competition between teams there were 80 MBA students creating all these spreadsheets and that became the basis of the book Beyond Light Bulbs which is the book I wrote and it covers all aspects of energy the uh, transportation and electricity, both alternative and traditional uh, energy sources. We need all kinds of energy, so we need a balanced energy economy, plus energy efficiency and all kinds of other topics. So after that, you know, I would be giving talks and, and uh, people would ask questions and my husband and I would be asked about how people can, you know, do something to reduce their energy use. They cared about the planet, as I know you do. So. We knew that talking about it was good, but we wanted, again, I really care about measurable results and said, how can we actually make physical, tangible changes in the amount of energy used? And that's when we started Go Green Squads. And it was, a, Go Green Squads still is an energy efficiency provider. We sold it about a year ago. And we worked with thousands of homes to reduce their energy bills through efficient uh, efficiencies. And what I'm going to do is provide for you to get educated a copy of my book, a signed copy of my book, or something else, which I'll explain, which is Mother Nature's Laws webinars. Now, I mentioned Buckminster Fuller, who designed this map, and that he's, you know, is, is a very brilliant man. And he also, something else he talked about was how, if we understood how the world worked, we wouldn't have the problems we have. And he talked about something called generalized principles, which is principles that are true in the physical world, as well as the meta or other than physical world of people and organizations. And I have, I, since I was an engineering student, I had noticed about the similarities in the way we talk about it. And so uh, for 30 years, I've been studying how laws of nature apply to human nature, what I call Mother Nature's laws. And so the webinars I will be doing have to do with how to use these, you know, you know, understand how the world works so we don't have the problems we have with respect to the environment as well as in your own life. Buckminster Fuller also had a vision. One of the aspects that we'll look at is what's the positive vision because putting our energy into a positive future is critical to the success of our planet. We need to focus on what we want, not what we don't want. And one example of that is Buckminster Fuller's vision, which he said, how do we make the world work for 100% of humanity in the shortest possible time through spontaneous cooperation without ecological damage or the disadvantage of anyone? That's our mission. That's what we need to do. That's what eco campaigns are designed to do, to work together in creating a bright energy future for us all.